Hey everybody, it's Monday. Went to the expo uh, yesterday, which was Sunday. Uh, got some new tarantulas, uh, a praying mantis, uh, some other things. Uh, talked to a lot of people. Uh, finally kind of done with my tarantula uh, room. It's a back room that I have it's, uh, that I cleaned up. And, uh, you know, I've been putting my spiders back there. And I've been collecting a few more. Uh, actually, a lot more at the expo because I got some good deals. Some, uh, some containers there and... I'll show you my spider room. It's not all the way done, but I'd say 80% done. A little heater. Let me shut this door. Lock the door. You know, it's just a room. See, I gotta fix that a little bit right there. You know, I got some tarantulas on shelves. Some are back there. Those are all uh, little baby ones and slings and juveniles. And uh, here's my hot box that I made. And I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you. It's not a hot box where I'm going to be cooking them and eating them. I'm, it's going to be uh, just a controlled atmosphere um, with uh, electronic gauges and stuff. Um, right now, I'm, I have a cheaper version, but uh, it's going to work. Um, and I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, I got the ceramic heater right here. It's, it, it works, but it's really dry. Um, I got a humidifier over there, which uh, it's like a turbo humidifier. That was like 30 bucks, and uh, it was kind of weird. They... They advertise a lot of them, but I went there and they, that was the only one they had. And uh, you see, I'll just show you. And that thing, that, that heater's temporary. I'm going to be using this box right here. Everything's going to be in this box. That's my rose here. 13 years old. See how long she lives for. Good looking one. My uh, bird eater's back there. Indian ornamental, green bottle blue. That little thing right there is a giant, a giant Asian uh, praying mantis or mantis, whatever. And uh, that thing will get real tall. Hopefully, if it's fully grown, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be huge. I like it because you can actually uh, put it on you and uh, and you can actually feed it and it'll grab the food from you and everything. It's kind of cool. Um, what else? Uh, got a bunch of uh, jump. Got some fruit flies back there that I feed my. I got some jumping spiders. The ones with the tubes in it. You can actually see that they're living in the tubes. I didn't really want them to live in the tube, but they're living in. They live in the tube, and I think that's the bigger one. I love the way they run around. Uh, so I'm gonna try to feed them and see how big I can get them. I mean, uh, I got them in January outside. Uh, you know, outside the. I live near uh, around Boston area. So freezing outside, so to see two jumping spiders is pretty cool. You just bump into them once in a while, and I grabbed them, and I didn't hurt them or anything. And I've been feeding them fruit flies, and I'll show you some video if I I, I forget if I took some already. But uh, yeah, I got all kinds of new spiders. Um, some are new, some are old. Um, the ones in like the pill containers, those are all my new ones, and then the bigger containers are the ones I bought before. And uh, king baboon, Haitian brown. Uh, oh man, I got so many. Um, Oh, what's that one I really like? Uh, uh, Blue Fang. That thing's bad, man. It's got like these these tannish legs or whatever, and that thing's really cool looking. So when these things get big, I'll have videos and pictures and everything. And uh, that's funny. He gave me uh, a guy sold me that for uh, like eight bucks. I, I I forget even what it is. <laughs> but uh, I got my uh, my roach colony right there. So I got my my little setup here. I'm all happy. But uh, I'm gonna show you this right here. And, uh, yeah, that was the back of my head hitting the box. And uh, this is an old cabinet. And uh, I put some uh, insulation in it. And I'll show you this. Uh, let's see. Okay, open the cabinet up. You can see I'm not, done, I'm, I'm not done with it yet. So just hear me out. Let's check this out. That's the gauge. And this is all I can afford right now. I'm on a... I, I went... I have tarantula fever, so now I'm broke. All right, I got the gauge in there, which it's definitely gone up. I got a lot of space down here, so I'm gonna put one more shelf in there, or uh, you know, a lot of options. Just gonna get some wooden stuff, and uh, you know, they could see the pink insulation in there, but it's the good stuff. Um, and that's a piece of wood, and and uh, that system right there, it's called uh, what's it called? It's called FlexWatt, and I, I was looking on the internet how to make like a hot box and. This stuff came up, and um, I went to uh, the expo on Sunday in New Hampshire, 
uh, Manchester, New Hampshire, uh, the Reptile Expo, and um, I was talking to uh, Blake, and he's actually joined my channel, and uh, he sells this stuff, um, so if you want some, uh, send him uh, a message or something like that, uh, FlexWatt, and um, I actually, it's controlled by a gauge. Uh, you can plug it straight in, I heard, but I, I that that's kind of nuts. Uh, you don't want that thing to get too, too crazy hot. You want to control the heat. So this little thing costs like 30 or 35 bucks um, from Zilla or something. So I got that at the expo. Uh, I wish I could afford, the, I think it's called a Helix system. Um, it's like 100, right, right around 150 I believe, give or take $20. Uh, the expo was obviously a little cheaper, and I wish I had the money. I was almost tempted to put it on my credit card, but... I gotta, uh, I'm gonna play around like this. I still got a lot of work to do. By the time I'm done, I'll, I'll, I'll get a better uh, system. I want to be able to put the tarantulas in, go like this, have the gauges, control it, and not even worry about it. I'm sick and tired of always worrying about it. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, look up Blake for uh, that uh, flex watt heat strip. And uh, I wish I, uh, the only regret I have for the heat strip is I wish I bought some more. All right. Wait, there he is. If you want that flex strip, that's it, brother. I'm gonna buy, maybe buy some more right down. I'll buy some more down uh, in the future. But right now, that's it. It's working though, so that's awesome. I'm gonna see how it is in the morning. All right, that's it for now. It's too t I'm tired. It's like two o'clock or something. Night.